Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I'm back with the other video. In this video, I'm going to talk about that creating the GCP Cloud Run service using Terraform. In this video, using the Terraform to deploy and managing the Google Cloud Run service, the Google Cloud Run service offered that flexibility, scalability for managing the application in the cloud. Cloud Run definition, the Cloud Run is that fully managed compute platform in that Google Cloud platform. That is, you can run your containerized application. It take care of all the infrastructure managing, scaling and operation, allow you to focusing on building and deploying your code, which means the Cloud Run is designed to be that serverless. You no need to worry about that managing the infrastructure, scaling up or scaling down based on the demand. The key feature of Cloud Runs, we can see that feature one by one. The first one is that containerized. You need to be package your application code and a dependency into that container image, which can be deployed and run on that Cloud Run. Next one is that fully managed. The Cloud Run is handling that all of them. You no need to worry about that scaling the infrastructure or managing the servers. Next one is that scalability. It automatically scaling your application based on that traffics. Next one is that flexible. It support that API event driven functionality and uh, you can deploy that application as a web service as well. Next one is that secured. The Cloud Run is offered that built in security feature like DDoS productions and the authentications. Next one is that pay for use. You can only pay for your application resource it making that cost effective. Next one is that HTTPS load balancing. So the Cloud Run applications are exposing through that HTTPS. So the Google Cloud load balancing is automatically distributing that incoming request across your multiple instance. The two way to run your code on the Cloud Run. We can see that future one by one. You can your code can be either run as that continuous as a service as the job. So depends upon your application need, you can choose that either of the one. The first one is that Cloud Run service. The Cloud Run service used to run as the code as the web request. Uh, if you have the, any web applications, uh, we can uh, perfectly choice with that Cloud Run service. Next one is that Cloud Run job. This Cloud Run job used to run as that performing the specific jobs and exit that when the job is completed. So it be time interval jobs only we can go with that Cloud Run jobs. In this video demo I am going with Cloud Run service. My upcoming videos I am going to cover with the Cloud Run jobs as well. Moving to that Visual Studio code. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire source code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. Yeah, we can see the Terraform file one by one. The first one is that cloudrun.tf. The first resource is that Google project service. Here we are enabling that Cloud Run APIs. Usually each service containing that APIs. Based on the service, we must do enabling that API before creation of the any service. Next resource is that Google Cloud Run V2 service. This resource used to creating and managing that Cloud Run service. You can see the parameter one by one. First one is the name, the name of the Cloud Run service. Second one is that location, where the specific jobs will be going to deploy. Next one is that ingress. It's providing that ingress settings for your service. Next one is that projects. Here we provide the project IDs where we are going to deploy. The template providing that outline of the container specifications including that image and uh, to run. So the image, uh, the value I am getting from the variables I used with that some hello, uh, hello world image. The resource limitation block I am limiting that uh, CPU and memory, memory consuming. CPU I am allocating the 2 core and the memory for 1000 mi. Next one is the depend on. So once the API is created, uh, then only I'm going to start with this service. Next one is that data blocks. So data block is that Google AMA policies. This data block is to creating that IMA policy that can apply to that resource. We can see the parameter one by one. Binding. Binding is a set of rules. It containing the specific rules by assigned. 
Next one is that member. The list of user or group who will be receiving that role privilege. Next one is that allow all users. It providing that access to that every internet users. It globally allow for everyone. Next resource is that Google Cloud run service IMA policies. This resource managing that IMA access policy for Google Cloud service allow you to invoke that to service. The location, project, service, the policy data. So whichever I created the earlier resource, I am I am calling from there. Output resource, it is capturing that uh, Google Cloud uh, DNS URL. Then I am moving to that uh, terraform.wars. These are the default values. The Cloud Run as a name I am assigning with Cloud Run hyphen service. The Cloud Run underscore ingress I am using with ingress traffic all. As I said earlier, there is a bunch of uh, available option also will be there. You can choose either of a one. Next one is that Cloud Run image I am using with Hello World uh, global image. Then I'm moving to that uh, provider TF file. In this provider block, uh, you can see here the credentials. Uh, I created a one of the service account. It is containing the necessary permission to create that cloud run service. Uh, so I uh, save as that JSON file to passing in the Terraform. The project region zones I defining with my according to my project needs. Then I'm moving to that variable.tf file. So these are the variables. So uh, here uh, all the variable I set it as the default. Let us move to the terminal. You can execute in the Terraform operations. I'm going to click the three dot terminal and the new terminal. So going to execute in the Terraform init command to downloading the all the plugins. So plugin already is downloaded. Then I'm going to executing the Terraform plan command to validate my syntax and the calling method. So plan command also succeeded. Then I'm going to executing the Terraform apply command. Yeah, it asking the user input is yes. Yeah, I can see here there is a plan is three resource going to add geo changes zero destroys. So the plus mark is indicating with that creating that new resource. So just I am providing that yes is input. Now that enabling that APIs after that creating the cloud run service. In this operation will be take some time. So I am going to pause this video. Yeah, now the Terraform operation successfully completed. We'll be moving to the GCP console to validate that all the service. We are at the GCP console page. So I'm choosing with my project where my cloud and service is deployed. I'm going to click there my navigation menu. Scroll down below. There is a cloud and service will be there. Click the service. The cloud and service is visible here. I'm going to click on that. Yeah, metrics you can see the tab by default enable the metrics SLS is that I am currently not at created so far next tab is the locks the lock is capturing from that uh, containers error message as well as the info anything next one is the revisions the revision tabs it containing your container information uh, volume network security those information will be there here next one is the networking Currently, I am choosing with allow. So allow means you directly can accessing the service from the internet. There is other option called internal. You can restrict from that internal also. Next one is the security. Security, I am allowing that unauthentication invocation. So you can globally allowing my website, but you can enabling the authentications mechanism also. Tiggering tabs. Currently, I not added any tiggering tabs. Next one is that integrations currently is a review so you can able to integrating with that any other service also next one is the yaml from the yaml uh, you can edit the service from through here itself so next one is that uh, the url for the application i'm going to click that url for this application now yeah now i'm able to assess my applications that's all this video i hope this video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching bye